She's a senior. She has really been the student who's been volunteering to work with Roger over Channel 26 on some of his crew assignments. But she's the person that um, I want to get Dr. Jackson to, to mentor because she's a young woman who really has aspirations. She hasn't had the mentoring that uh, we'd like to have her. Uh, so she's one of the people that we're, we're kind of watching right now. What is it that you want to do? Make movies, be a director, anything that has to do with this industry, basically. I don't really put the time and day into like learning. Well, I think that's great. I'm really proud of her because she's videotaped a couple of things, but most recently did an Earth Day event with Dr. Jackie at um, at Don Earth Day. And she videotaped for the first time an episode of the class learning something that went up to YouTube. She's the very first person in three years we've been working with, so she's kind of ahead of the curve. Filmmaker. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Jackie, this is Oh, yeah. Nice meeting you. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and look at it. Yeah, we're doing RCA or BNC. Uh, what are you doing? Fine. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, these cameras are about eight years old. Uh, ROP purchased them about eight years ago. And as you know, with technology, as soon as they got delivered, they were already old. They were already out of date. But we've been working with them, and actually, I'm very proud of the last eight years. They, they took, the students took very good care of them. But you still have wear and tear, you know, and, and it's, it's happened. Um, they're learning how to deal with the back focus of, of the camera because now the ring is broken. But every time I um, I buy something new at home, like a brand new TV, I bring the flat screen in, you know, whatever. I because I don't have any use for it at home. I had a <laughs> I had a production company a while back. My studio was down the street on Alondra, and when the Writers Guild went on strike. Of course, everything closed down for me. So all the C-stands, the silks, and the flag kits that I, that I had over there, I just, hey, why not bring them to, instead of paying for storage somewhere, let the kids, let the students use them. Um, you know, that, that's the way we operate here. That's the way we operate. You know. Yeah, I'm working, I'm working on buying some, uh, some LEDs because uh, I don't want them getting burned a lot. And they keep losing gloves. I, don't, I buy gloves all the time. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what they do with them, but you know that's that's the way we work around here. I, I still have to get the job, so if I have to reach in my pocket, and it, it helps to be rich every now and then. So you know, I, 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 I jump in there and, and do it. I don't mind. I graduated from here in 1988. Oh, yeah. So you know, I'm I'm back home. I started here in 2000 with the goal of starting this program. Because I know at the age of 12, when somebody put a camera in my hand, it changed my life completely. That's where I knew I, that's what I wanted to do. And the biggest fight is getting them to understand, what do you want to do when you grow up? And it's always the, I don't know. So you're behind schedule, bro. You gotta, you should have known that in the fifth grade. You know, so I, I throw this at their face as much as they can. Those that don't know, I go, why don't you learn this? Because never know, this might be it. If not, it'd be a nice way to get through college. You know, working somewhere like this. Huh? Oh, of course, definitely. And every, right now we, we, we're doing a lot of, uh, um, almost like backpack journalism. They go out and get the story, come back, cut it together, and create a story from the footage they shot. Downstairs, uh, they went down, uh, Tuesday we went over with the Solar Cup team. We have a solar boat race that the kids, uh, the engineering kids are, preparing for it. So we went and shot that, and now they're down there creating a 15 second spot, a 30 second spot, and a minute spot for the Solar Cup team. So it's all the go shoot it, get the story, and then come back and create create what you have. They know how to, you know, most of them have written their 30 page screenplays, a short film. That's one of the requirements to get into the advanced program. You gotta have a 30 page screenplay. And, you know, 
because those that stay in the program, because sometimes they always throw students. It's an ROP class. Right? Sometimes it's used as a dumping ground, which is offensive to a lot of them. ROP. But those that stay in the program, I give them a little bit of leeway, because I know creative writing is a little bit more difficult than having to write an essay. So I give them that time. Okay, you did 15 pages, and we we'll work on it. Hopefully, by the time you reach the end of the 10th grade, you would have finished a 30-page script. Other students that are just there because they the counselor put them there, you got to give me a 30-page script, you know, because I'm not going to see you again. So I got to make sure so, you at least know that. I want to interject on this conversation now. So um, one thing we do this uh, career academy model. One thing we did different this year. We just surveyed. We got over 2,000 surveys for middle school students on their actual yeah. interest. And we also had the students take a career interest inventory online assessment so they could actually answer some questions to kind of gauge them a little better. And so to actually start creating cohorts of students who are really interested in a program and not just have them stuck into the class as an afterthought and bring those students through the middle schools into these pathway academies at the high schools that are highly connected, vibrant, organized programs, and the students go through a structured program of study. Um, and with these types of industry connections and partnerships, really create a, a young person who is college and career ready, who already has established connections that, that would be hireable by the industry based on those connections if, if they have the correct skill set to go out there. But we need those partnerships. We need your support and interaction to make that happen. Otherwise, we're in a bubble and, and it's a shot in the dark for the most talented and the most driven when they get out of here. So the other piece I want to say is that we are investing in this program. We're marshalling resources where we, we're investing over $100,000 in the digital media program this year. We're using uh, Carl Perkins Federal Career Tech Ed funds to help support this, but that's just a, a fraction, a fraction of what we need. You work in the media industry, you know how much equipment costs and what it, what it takes to make these kind of things work. So just to, just to say that we're working to use the resources that we have, um, but know that we have dedicated instructors to make this happen, but we, we need so much more, so much more for college students. So um, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to take a look at it. Is it class? We are. He's going to take oh, it right yeah. now. Yeah. So 